Here's three groups in 12-8 because there's much more that you can do with 12-8 than just play some boring ballads. So let's do it. 12-8 just means we've got 12 eighth notes per bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But we're not going to count them like that. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. Four groups of three. And I want you to get used to playing that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just a little accent on the first of each three. And just like a normal standard groove, we're going to play bass drum on one and snare drum on two. One, two. Loop that round, get comfortable before we spice up these bass drums. You might say, well, why are we counting this in four instead of like six, eight? One, two, one, two. Because it's the same thing per two bars. There's a bit of an open debate whether that should be 12, eight or six, eight. But because of this pattern, this bass drum pattern, it makes sense to stick it in one bar. This bass drum pattern I'm about to teach you here. If you've never played in 12, eight before, this groove is a fantastic place for you to start. First group of three, exactly the same. One, two, three. Second group of three, snare, hat, kick. Remember, hi-hat's going through all of this. Stick that together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Loop that round. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, we found ourselves in six, eight, but it's not a bad exercise anyway. Beat three, exactly the same. One, two, three. But on that third one, we're going to hit a bass drum. One, two, three. Or in real terms, seven, eight, nine. And then this last group of three is really simple. Snare, hat, hat. So you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got bass drums on one, six, and nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there you have it, a really cool 12-8 groove. Right, next up, groove number two. Here is a really cool groove in 12-8 that isn't like your standard ballad. Tasty. I love the way these kind of grooves come out because it's really actually quite simple. You're going to count this as if it's triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three. So right, left, right, left, right, left. But you're just going to put the right hand on the hi-hat. One, two. Really accent that left hand that comes down with the two because that's going to be your backbeat. One, two, three, four. First two hi-hats, add bass drums with those. And right there, you got yourself a tasty groove all by itself. But I decided to take it a step further and move us around the toms a little bit. Timing of the hand stays exactly the same. The first half is as I've just showed you. One, two. And then for the second half, everything in the left hand stays the same. It's just these toms moving around as if they were on the hi-hat. Timing is the same. Bass drum is the same too. So the first two toms, you've also got a bass drum. Just remember, after that mid-tom, that's where the accent on the snare drum is going to be. Stick them together. Well, the thing that was going to make this groove sound really good is making sure that those ghost notes are ghost notes on the snare drum, making sure you bring out that accent. The dynamic contrast is what will make this groove sound delicious. Enjoy. All right, last up, groove number three. Oh, I love this groove so much. Step aside, Purdy Shuffle. I have written a cool 12 8 groove. One, two, three, four. All it really is is groups of three in your hand. So it will be a challenge for quite a few of you guys. But by God, is it worth it? You got hi hat, ghost, ghost, accent, ghost, ghost, accent, ghost, ghost, accent. That's what's going on. And it 
it just sounds snazzy as hell. One thing I do recommend with this hi-hat is you make sure when you're doing the little ghost notes, they're taps and then the edge is your accent and use the bounce that you get as if you're playing a double to get that speed. Practice these in isolation, especially ghost ghost accent before you worry about bass drums. If you really want to put one in there, add one just on one. Work with the metronome, it is your best friend. When you put in the correct bass drum pattern, it's gonna fall in the middle of your group of three. Yeah. So again, metronome is your friend. Take it as slow as you need to. And just to rub salt in the wound, we've got a double kick at the end. This is one of those groups that you can start to chip away at because it will take a little bit of time to get the coordination and your hands to line up really tightly. Again, I recommend using a metronome. And if you can get it to yell triplets at you, I suggest that too. Once that's comfortable, if you want an extra challenge, start placing the bass drum wherever you like. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy playing these groovy grooves in 12-8. I will see you in the next video. Big love. Mwah.